You should be checking out the JLT 3.0 oil separator if you're looking to help eliminate the oily vapors produced by crankcase pressure from being reintroduced back into the engine through the intake manifold, which can lead to your intake being covered lightly with oil, diluting your gas, lowering your octane levels, and in some cases resulting in a misfire or detonation. Now this problem is definitely magnified in those turbocharged applications like the EcoBoost for instance, in addition to direct injected engines as well, where the lack of traditional port injection often plays a role in helping to keep those valves clean. Your price point for the 3.0 version here is gonna be just north of 100 bucks, and the install will get a soft one out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter, thanks to the plug and play design. So JLT has designed this kit to work with a wide variety of platforms, including the 2011 through 2017 five liter Coyote, the 6.2 Raptor, and also the 2.7 and 3.5 EcoBoost engines. And honestly guys, every one of those power plants I just mentioned could benefit from the use of a catch can or oil separator. So in short, your truck has a PCV system or positive crankcase ventilation. Now the purpose of this is to regulate and remove fumes from the engine crankcase and to alleviate crankcase pressure, which could otherwise cause oil leaks or seal damage. But why just not dump it into the atmosphere? Well, because the folks over at the EPA deem this wouldn't be good for business and mandated stricter emissions laws, meaning the PCV system had to be sealed, using vacuum from the intake manifold to help draw these vapors out and plumbing them back into the intake track. And that's where these oil separators come into play. Now, using a combination of a stainless steel mesh material, along with an aluminum honeycomb filter, the vapors are gonna pass through the JLT separator where that filter media will kind of collect and isolate all the oily junk into the canister and still allow nice clean air to pass through the PCV system. Now, JLT claims that emptying out this canister every five to 7,000 miles, basically every oil change, should be good, but if it were me, I'd probably check it a little bit more frequently as these things tend to fill up pretty quickly. As far as the construction of the kit is concerned, well, it's gonna be looking at a very simple design. Billet aluminum for the main material here with the canister, they then finish everything off in a clear anodized satin finish. Now, just a quick heads up guys, JLT does also make this in a black finish, and in my opinion, that would definitely blend in with the engine bay a little bit better, but the satin silver looks pretty sharp as well. Truck specific kit also includes factory style hoses and fittings, making this a very simple plug and play install, which I will talk about here in a minute. Now this is JLT's version 3.0, which is actually in reference to the size of the canister, more specifically the capacity of what it can hold. Three ounces of fluid to be exact here, which is nearly double the size of previous versions. And when it comes time to empty everything out, just simply grab it, unscrew everything, dump everything out, and you're good to go. So very, very simple stuff, guys, when it comes time to check in the capacity of this thing or emptying it every oil change. Now it is worth pointing out that this kit is for the passenger side only, and that's gonna be the norm for most of the aftermarket catch cans or oil separators like this, as that's where things tend to be the most effective overall. In fact, at the time of this video, we don't even offer an option for the driver's side, so that obviously tells you a lot. But like I mentioned earlier, pretty much a plug and play install. There is a bracket to tackle, but very, very simple and straightforward. So let's call it one out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter and maybe about 30 minutes of your time to get everything in place. Now really no tools needed for the hose installation here, guys. You're simply just gonna remove your factory PCV line, install this in its place. However, a socket set will definitely help you out to mount the bracket, but that's pretty much it. In a nutshell, you're simply just gonna locate the passenger side PCV line and remove it. Install the JLT in its place and secure it with the included bracket and your installation is complete. So wrapping this one up, if you're looking to prevent the oily vapors from dirtying up your intake manifold and valves and possibly hurting your performance, you'll wanna check out the JLT oil separator right here at americantrucks.com.